Welcome back to the show and now let us continue with the fun. Once an artist identifies their niche, the next thing they probably do is to identify how best to purchase their work, to build a trademark or maybe a brand. The following artist has opted to tell human stories using aspects of nature. And I know you're probably wondering what his artworks look like, so here I go. Having discovered his passion for art at a young age, Washira's talent has been nurtured all his life throughout his schooling and constant practice has seen him better his art pieces every now and then. Um, I think it started when I was a child. I was very creative. I used to do a lot of charcoal doodling on the walls. Yeah, but it didn't hit me that I was going to become an artist. And then later on, I went to high school, studied art, gained my interest there at first, and then cleared, um, joined university, studied a BA in uh, fine arts and design. Yeah, and then that has been the journey to immerse myself in the... I, I got to share my insights with the uh, intellect, yeah? And then I think that improved my, my artwork. Yeah, I stopped creating art for beauty and now I create art that has value message. Beauty, aesthetics and message. It starts with a lot of research, practice and also, you know, I have mentors. Like when I went to the university, I got a mentor, I got to interact with the great art, art masters. Yeah, a lot of practice, uh, patience, consistency is what has yielded up to this. Uh, sometimes it, it might take, I, I, I think I can paint such a piece for like a whole month or two months. So it's, 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 it's really a tedious process but pays up well. It's quite unique the choice of subjects the artist has based his works on. Very seldom do we get to see nature, that is, animals and plants, being creatively utilized to tell stories about the human race. I draw my source of inspiration from nature, uh, plants. I like to tell a story, the story of uh, the human race without using humans, just using plants, because uh, I believe that um, we humans are a subject of nature, we are not masters of nature. Even if we have so much control over nature, uh, there is that big thing that is on top of us that controls us. Yeah, so my work basically revolves around that. I did this painting in 2021 and um, it's, it's, the title is uh, the, the Die Concept. The Die Concept is, is I draw this from dualism. Do you know the yin yang? the good and the bad, the bad and the good. So um, these two characters are represented, these butterflies are characters, just representational. And uh, one is in the cool side and the other one is on the warm side. But they are all on these, they're sharing these, uh, these plant, they're sharing the same space, they're sharing the same box as being on the cool side and the warm side. So you can imagine this one is telling this one, uh, ah, here it's cold, here it's, and this one is, ah, here it's warm, here it's, so everyone is, in the same spectrum, but they cannot see that. His work table is often decorated with a few tools and materials he uses to create his masterpieces, following his own processes, but sometimes he dares to improvise. It starts with, uh, it's just like a story, I just, I, I'm a keen observer, I like to look at things, situations, and also identity, like where do I come from, who am I? And then um, I walk around taking pictures, pictures of flowers, I like to use a lot of flowers and hands and then um, I take them, I take the flowers in and conceptualize them as one. I, 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 I might take like five photos and, and try to join them to make something. I sketch them up and then it turns up to a painting. So it's not, it's not a very systematic uh, process. So I use uh, synthetic brushes and uh, acrylic paints. I started using uh, oil paints, but uh, I narrowed down to acrylics because um, oil paints need a lot of space and uh, they're a bit challenging. Yeah, so, um, and also I, I like to diversify my craft. Yeah? So sometimes I also do mixed media, I collect things, stick them up, and they bring, the, bring up something nice. Well, I collected sand soil and I st stuck them up. And uh, these in Zile Nyolizas channel, you know the, the hairs from the women, well, after they have, they, they've done braiding and whatever, so I collect them up and stick them up. And then these are um, canvas cuttings there. Zile is goku musho musho uku, this is my back here, stick them up. So it's just basically like anything, just anything that uh, brings a desired texture or a desired message. 
Washira has traveled far and beyond to expand his proficiency in art and also interact with other artists to share and exchange ideas. It was an exchange pro program. So we were seven artists, six from Kenya, one from uh, Somali. Yeah, so it was an art residency. We went there for three and a half weeks. Went to the Venice Biennale, met a lot of creatives. You know, the Biennale is just, it's just wild, eh? so it's like art from all the countries in the world. So it was mind-blowing, yeah, and it was very insightful. These are 2022 piece. Uh, I did it uh, late last year, after my trip uh, from Italy. So um, uh, the, the piece is, uh, is inspired by, the, the symbol there is inspired by an artist, a great artist called uh, Michelangelo Pistoletto, who, has, uh, who was the one who came up with that uh, symbol of infinity. And uh, it really summed up, as, as the year ended, it really summed up what I have been, all the knowledge that I've been gathering. So um, uh, I collectively gathered uh, information and came up with that piece. So I think that is that is a piece, yeah. You know, these are things that you you just you just pick them up uh, psychologically without knowing. So um, maybe when you go to a certain artist, you see the way they, they do their brush strokes, and you're impressed by that. You go home, try it out. You you just try it out without knowing that you're trying out something that you saw from uh, from another artist. So. Um, Getting insights from creatives is, uh, is one of the most fundamental uh, things that, an, that a creative should consider. The artist is currently dedicating his time to hone and upgrade his work even more before he moves to marketing the same. You know, I'm a newly emerging artist, so I have been more into mastering my craft. Yes, I do market them online and everything, but uh, it's, I think it's a step that I'm now taking. Yeah, so that is like my New Year's resolution. Yeah, yeah, so marketing my art, taking them out, is what now I am yet to do. Washira urges upcoming artists to invest some more time into their art and to be consistent and patient with it. When I travel, I notice that out there, artists have a, artists have a role in the society, like the way doctors like are really ranked in the society. Artists also have a, have a, big, have a big chunk of role in the society whereby they are able to reflect and also reshape things that they don't like. And um, you see, it might be challenging for you to get all this schooling and all these things, but there are short courses, there are things that you can do online. So um, I think the hunger is what uh, really helps in improve your art and also keep, to, keep your art to up to date because the world is changing and things are changing. So if you just stagnate there with the little knowledge that you have, and you don't add some more, you'll just be left there. The art journey is not for the faint-hearted. Yeah, I've spoken to a lot of uh, guys who've made it in the scene, and uh, it really needs a lot of patience, um, resilience, and also just being, um, just, just, just trusting the process. Yeah, it might, you might not uh, see that, you, you might not think that you're doing uh, something great today, but if you keep on trying to do it, it makes, I mean, it might yield up to something nice. So consistency, patience, and, and a lot of hard work. Yeah, and also other skills. You know, the problem with us artists is that we like to major a lot in the craft, then we forget the marketing side, the business side. So you need to balance both because you're also an entrepreneur. So I'm on Instagram and uh, at artist underscore ke underscore ngatia. I'm not on the other social platforms because of uh, various reasons. Yeah, and uh, you can also find my work uh, in various spaces. That there is Mother Nature on the canvas. 